His most famous roles include a superhero, a nightmare tenant, and who could forget his underworld bio-exorcist. But Michael Keaton's ensured he has ultimate control over his latest one. That's because as well as taking the lead in The Merry Gentleman, the Hollywood legend got behind the camera to make his directorial debut. You've obviously walked onto a set a hundred times before, but that first time walking on as the boss, yeah, what was that like? That's a good question. No one's asked me that yet. That was nerve-wracking and exciting at the same time. Did you at least get your own director's chair? <laughs> you know, I, I did, and the joke was, I never, I don't think I ever got to sit in my director's chair. I don't really, you know, you've been on film sets, so you know everyone works off a monitor, and I don't, I didn't, I don't know that I'll ever do that. Maybe I will. Here, the former Batman and Beetlejuice star is the mysterious Frank. Thank you. Uh, I got myself into a bit of trouble there. It's a big tree. And admits he did have some reservations about the character. He was a professional killer or a hitman, and, and that has been done to death in films. And I, I definitely th thought about that and didn't have much interest at the beginning. But when I was reading the script, he doesn't speak, I don't think, I don't know, for like the first eight or ten pages or something like that, a long time. And I remember thinking, oh, getting excited reading it as an actor, just thinking, oh, this is going to be interesting. He's not going to speak for the whole movie. And then I thought, okay, now a hitman who also can't speak. That I might be able to do something with. An assassin who very nearly bumps himself off, but is saved by Kate, a.k.a. Scottish actress Kelly MacDonald. <laughs> Mr. Logan! Looks like he has pneumonia. He'll be fine. The film follows the two lonely souls as they're brought together, despite the pursuit of an eager policeman and Kate's estranged husband. Thanks again. Found a girl under a tree. Sorry? No, it was just, it was a joke. It's dumb. You find presents under a tree, I found a girl under a tree. So. <laughs> wow. You must have been a very good boy. <laughs> there is a beautiful stillness to the feature, thanks to the sparse dialogue, and exceptional performances from the entire cast. It's a Christmassy film without the usual cheesy message. In fact, for once, here's something which doesn't fall into any of the stock categories. It's neither rom-com, straight drama or psychological thriller, but has elements of all three. A credit to Mr Keaton, who's now shown his flair as movie star and movie maker. You just might be the sweetest man I've ever met.